might just roll There's a life to live But you got to choose Well, you used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and this is where you're going to hear good news. I said it. <laughs> Aren't you just uh, tired of hearing bad news? Every uh, newscast that you turn on, you know, you, you want to hear something good every now and then, but boy, it's amazing that all the bad news that's going on. Well, you tune in to good news today. I'm going to be talking about Jesus and about his goodness and about his grace. And uh, I'm in a sermon today about the great deceiver. I am exposing <laughs> the, the great deceiver. And I'm talking about one of the signs that Jesus said that we would see in the last days. There are several, but one of the greatest signs that we're going to notice, and we are noticing it right now, is deception. People are being deceived. You can't believe everything you hear. That's right, because people lie and people deceive. And so we're talking about that. I'll be exposing the great deceiver who's called Satan or the devil. And I'll be talking about how he deceives people. And yes, even Christians. That's why it's so important that you stay in the Bible. You stay in God's word. You go to a good church where the truth is preached because you can easily be deceived. I'll be talking about the history of Halloween and how the devil has deceived millions of Christians to embrace this holiday that even former witches have said to stay away from and have nothing to do with it. And so as we're taping this program, Halloween is just a, a few weeks down the road. So I want to talk about this. I want to talk about how the devil uses Halloween, and not just Halloween, but other things to deceive people. So you don't have to be deceived. You can be enlightened. And that's one thing this program is all about. We want to enlighten people to the truth of God's Word. 1 Timothy 4 one through two says this, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall even depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And so we're going to be talking about the, that today. First of all, I want to share a song with you like I always do, sharing some songs off of my Simple Things CD. And this one's entitled Harvest Time. And yes, we are in the midst of harvest time. People are coming into God's kingdom every day all over the world. And one of these days, the trumpet's going to sound and Jesus is going to appear. So I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, just shout the victory. Sing along with me. Then enjoy this teaching segment. And I'll be right back here in the studio to say a special prayer for you and your family. Stay tuned. When Jesus left this world, he gave us a command to shine the light of his love all across the land to tell of his forgiveness salvation for the lost we got to tell this message no matter what the cost it's harvest time It's harvest time The seeds have been planted The reaping has begun It's harvest time It's harvest time The laborers are wanted It's harvest time gospel has been preached for many years you know the seeds have been planted 
watered and they've grown. Now it's time for God's children just to get out of the pew and bring in that harvest like the master told us to. It's harvest time It's harvest time The seeds have been planted The reaping has begun It's harvest time It's harvest time Now laborers are wanted Yes, it is. We up there in heaven, a table is prepared, and all of God's children will be welcome there. When the last one has accepted the salvation of our King, God will say, go get my children, then bring them home to me. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. The seeds have been planted. Reaping has begun. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. Laborers are wanted. It's harvest time. Laborers are wanted. It's harvest time. Now I'm going to share a few things about the history of Halloween. This is from a, a track that I picked up many years ago, and there's many different ones out there, and, uh, and they're, they're online as well. And I mean, you can go in many places and get history of Halloween nowadays. And uh, some of them kind of deviate a little bit, but there's, there's a lot of points that they, they agree with. So 300 years ago before Jesus was born is about when it was. There was a civilization of people called the Celtics. Some pronounce it Celtics. They lived throughout the British Isles, Scandinavia, and Western Europe. And they were a common group, much like many segments of our society today. But they were controlled by a secret society called the Druids. The Druids were Satanists who worshipped and served the demonic god of death, uh, Samhain, or literally pronounced Samhain, or Samhain. These satanic priests literally control people's lives through the mechanism of fear. We've been talking a lot about fear. Much death, disease, and destruction came upon the Celtics as a result of the Druids and their practices. Each year on October 31st, the Druids celebrated the eve of the Celtic New Year in honor of their pagan god, Samhain. The festival of Samhain, more accurately called the Festival of Death, was officially known and is still recognized by all Satanists, occultists, and devil worshipers as the eve of the new year for witchcraft. The eve of the new year for witchcraft. Anton LaVey, the author of the Satanic Bible and former high priest of the Church of Satan, and he's former because he did now, he said that there are three important days to Satanists. Number one, their birthday. Number two, April the 30th. And number three, the most important is Halloween. LeVay said this. 
It is on this night that satanic, occult, and witchcraft powers are at their highest potency level. And any witch or occultist who has been having difficulty with a spell or a curse can usually achieve success on October the 31st. Halloween is the eve of the new year for witchcraft, as I mentioned. The World Book of Encyclopedia says it is the beginning of all that is cold, dark, and dead. The Druid priests would go from house to house demanding all sorts of strange foods for their own consum consumption and to offer later on to their lord, Samhain, at the festival of death. If the village people would not give them the foods that they demanded, they would speak a demonic curse over their home. And history claims that someone in that family would die within the year. Thus we have trick or treat. The Druids would carry with them a large turnip, which they had hollowed out on the inside and they carved a face on the front to represent the demonic spirit that they depended upon for their power and their knowledge. This spirit is called a familiar spirit. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that song and that teaching segment talking about deception. Jesus said that in the last days that one of the greatest signs we will notice is deception, people being deceived. That's right. We hear uh, so many lies in our days. When you watch uh, different news programs and you see politicians talking, you can't believe everything everybody says because they just out and out blatantly lie. And you can't believe everything you hear. And, and you see a lot of people, they do just that. Just because they see it on TV or just because somebody else said it's true, it's not always true. And that's what we call deception. People are being deceived. But the Bible tells us that we don't have to be deceived. We can walk in the light. Amen. We can walk in truth and we can walk in reality. And that's what this program is all about. I would love you to get this teaching in its entirety. And you can go to the Mike Bond Ministries YouTube channel. You can watch it on there or listen to it. And also, if you would like to get a hard copy of this program or, or this sermon, in its entirety, all you have to do is call us. We would love to help you with that at 985-345-6455. 985-345-6455. We're all about teaching truth because the Bible says it's truth that sets us free. Amen? Now, if you hadn't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, be sure and do that so you'll be notified whenever a new uh, program is uploaded. And we have many, many episodes available for your spiritual enrichment there on the Mike Vaughn Ministries YouTube channel. Also, don't forget, if you have a Roku TV, Amazon Fire, Apple, or Smart TV, you can get the YouTube app on there. And you can download that app, and then you can watch the Mike Vaughn Ministries YouTube channel or any program on their own demand. And uh, so if you need more information about that, just call us. We have people that even watch on their iPhone and their Android, many ways that you can get it. And also, I want to invite you to come be with us in a live church service. You, uh, The preaching and the singing that you see on this program is all recorded right here at the Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana. And uh, I don't want to take you away from your home church. Now, if you have a home church, please be dedicated to it. But if you're looking for a church, I just want to come and visit. Any Sunday morning at 1030 a.m., we're right here at 13101 Highway 442 West, Tickfall, Louisiana. If you need more uh, directions, just call us at 985-345-6455. If you enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit and the joy of the Lord, you will enjoy it here at Good News Fellowship Church. You don't have to wear a suit or a tie. You can be casual here, just your blue jeans and your cowboy boots. 
will be just fine or, or whatever you want to wear as long as you wear something. Amen. And we would love to have you here at Good News Fellowship Church. Also, I want to invite you to come out and be with us in one of our live uh, concerts. We host a special concert the first Friday night of every month, and I'm singing. I have a special guest that follows me up, and our next one will be October the 6th. That's right, October the 6th, and my special guest will be Danny Ray Bishop of Calico Rock, Arkansas, a very anointed Southern Gospel artist. You don't want to miss this concert because we always have a great time in the Lord when Brother Danny is with us. I tell you what, we just have church, and if you enjoy having church, if you know what I mean, in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit, you want to come and be with us. Once again, October the 6th, we'll get started at 6.30 p.m., and we have a concession stand with all kind of good stuff like hot dogs and nachos and chili pies and, and uh, Barbara's world-famous coconut cake and many other pies and pastries uh, are on the menu. So come out and be with us. For more information, go to our website at mvmgoodnews.com. Now I want to say thank you so much for sowing seed into this ministry. Because of you, people are hearing the life-changing gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the only thing that will change hearts. The only thing that will transform lives is the good news that Jesus died for our sins and he rose again the third day. If we'll believe that, we'll be absolutely transformed. And so thank you so much for helping us spread the message. For your gift of any amount today, I want to send you my CD entitled Simple Things, 11 songs to encourage you and to bless you through the day. I've been sharing some of them with you on the program. I will not be defeated. Teach me your way, Lord, life's railway to heaven and others. And I'm also going to send you my teaching on the last days. Jesus said that there are signs to look for that we're living in the last days. One is deception and there are others. If you would like to know, then call or write today and with your donation and I'll send you my teaching, The Last Days and the Simple Things Music CD. You can call me at 985-345-6455. Once again, 985-345-6455. Six four five five. Also, you can give online at mvmgoodnews.com. Now, if you give online, be sure and send me an email if you want to claim your offer and say, I want to get those CDs. And that email address is mvmgoodnews at aol.com. Of course, you can still give uh, to post office box 550, Tick Fall, Louisiana, 70466. We do still receive a lot of what we call snail mail. And so be sure and send it to post office box 550, Tick Fall, Louisiana, 70466, and ask for the CD offer if you want that. If you're sending your donation by mail, that is. Now, if you've never given your heart and life to the Lord Jesus Christ, my question is why? Quit putting it off because you don't know what you're missing. The life of a believer is like nothing else. If you want true peace and true joy, and of course the greatest thing is a home in heaven, then you need to accept Jesus as your Savior and Lord. There's no other way to be saved. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the only way. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, and whoever believes in him, See, it's not our good works. Whoever believes in Jesus and what he did at the cross, that's the ones that will be saved. So I want to lead you right now in a prayer. And I encourage you, whenever you pray, mean the words in your heart because you are talking to God when you pray. That's what prayer is all about. You're talking to God. You're not talking to me. You're not talking to anybody else. You're talking to the one that has created you. So if God's dealing with your heart, pray with me. Say, dear God in heaven, I turn my back on sin and my own way. I want to trust Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe Jesus died on the cross as payment for my sin debt. I believe he was raised from the dead 
for my justification. I confess Jesus as my Savior. I give you my life, Lord Jesus. Fulfill your plans and purposes in my life. I receive your forgiveness, your pardon, and eternal life. Thank you for saving me now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. For any of you prayed that prayer, the Bible says you are a born-again child of God. You are now on the inside. You have been given entry to God's kingdom. Now you have all the benefits available only to the children of God. And that's healing, that's peace, that's the joy of the Lord, and I could go on and on. And I want to send you this little book as my gift by praying that prayer. It's a little book entitled The New Birth. Tells you more about what it really means to be saved, what it means to be born again. Call me right now. I'll send it to you absolutely free. Or if you watch this program at a later time, you know, on YouTube or something, still call me and I will send it right to you. But I need your information. You can send us an email as well. And uh, so that number is 985, if you want to call, 345-6455. 985-345-6455. And that email address is mvmgoodnews at aol.com. And I'll send you some other literature as well to help you get started growing in the Lord. Now you need to find a good home church and get plugged in. And so you can start growing in the Lord and you'll get support from other believers. That's so very important. And uh, some good things you need to do to grow in the Lord. And I'm just so excited about the decision that you have just made. Well, we're about out of time now, but I want to say a prayer for all of our partners and friends. Father, I just thank you for those that just prayed, and I just ask you, Lord, to cover them by your mighty power. Seal them by your spirit, Lord. Lord, touch every partner, every friend, Lord. May your grace and peace be multiplied to everyone. Heal the sick, strengthen the weak by your might and power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Well, I'm so glad you tune in today. It's been a blessing to share this time together. And I'm going to leave you with a song right now. You be blessed and encouraged. And call us, write us, let us know what God is doing in your life. I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad I know Jesus. How about you? Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of the Lord. There's healing in the name of the resurrected one. Power in the name of the Lord. When Jesus defeated death, he rose up from the grave. All power was given unto him. Then he said unto the church, go into the world and proclaim the good news in my name. And there's power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of the Lord. There's healing in the name of the resurrected one. Power in the name of the Lord. If you feel depressed, defeated and cast down, and you have no reason to go on, Give your heart to Jesus, just call upon his name. He'll give you his power, you'll never be the same. Now there's power in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Power in the name of the Lord. There's healing in the name of the resurrected one. Power in the name of the Lord. Gonna play it now. They must tremble, sickness it must flee At the mention of that holy name Every knee must bow and every tongue confess That Jesus Christ is the Lord Yes, there's power in the name of Jesus Power in the name of the Lord There's healing in the name Of the resurrected one Power in the name of the Lord There's healing in the name Of the resurrected one Power in the name in the name there's power in the name of the Lord yeah. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music if you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs you can write and request a product list send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. Or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com. And our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I'm walking in new shoes and the righteous road.